Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back. It's your boy Dark Lord here today. We are decided to go on World of Tanks. This is actually being updated uh, recently. As you guys can see here, the main title screen has changed ever since. I think it was two years ago that they made this game. And they finally decided to change the screen, which was very, very nice. Really great touch, guys. I actually enjoyed that you uh, decided to change a lot of stuff. As you can see here, this camera really is actually annoying with how blurry it is. Let's see if a, a little wipe here will uh, help this out. Sorry for the darkness. But, uh, come on, did that, did that help? No? No, not really, huh? <laughs> Whatever. Can't please everyone, huh? <laughs> Alright, so this uh, brand new updated screen and game uh, it took a time to really come through. This is for the Marvelland Challenge, where you get to have a T-54, which you guys see there in the background, that was the main tank at the screen. You get to actually own that tank for free if you get a certain amount of XP with a Russian tank. So, obviously this event comes live on the 1st of... Oh, God, damn, let me see. June, 1st of June, it comes live on World of Tanks 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, because I don't think PS3 actually have this uh, game on your system. If you guys do, you know, I actually had no idea. I thought only PS4 had it, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. But this event becomes live on the 1st of June. It gives you guys a chance to own a Tier 8 tank. A lot of you guys actually still don't own high tier tanks because of how difficult it is to really get there to the next tank. I mean, like I know this year alone, I've been playing this game for two damn years. And it's only taken me really to this year to start upgrading my tanks, getting tier 8s, getting different tanks I thought I'd never ever see in my garage again. Uh, so today we're going to go out and we're going to have a little bit of fun. If possible, maybe a little bit of rage quitting will happen. Oh, T-28 prototype, sexy ass tank destroyer. A lot of people hate her because it takes so much money off you, but if you learn how to use it, it's a great ass tank. So, let's roll out in our British Tier 8 Heavyweight, the Carnivian. I can't pronounce that tank's name, I really just can't. Let's just quickly activate on the Ops. Badge of Honor still there. Uh, places the top five damage dealers on your team. Why the hell not? Let's give it a try. So, let's go out in the Carnivian and let's see what she can do. So, obviously, last time I made a World of Tanks video, I decided to discuss with you guys what's really wrong with it. I think I gave you maybe eight, nine reasons on why this game really sucks. And I have to admit, Wargaming done a really good job. You guys actually upgraded a lot of the problems I had with it. Uh, you've decided to give us ops where we can earn money and XP, and that'll, that actually helps us with our tanks. You haven't really sorted out the downloads on how big they are, but with a game this size, I've actually come to learn that you can't really be picky. You just can't be. And what are we against here? We're against tier 8s is the highest... Yes, I'm actually at the top of the list on my team. That's surprising. I never normally am. Uh, what they've also improved is with premium. Ha! Okay, let's try and get back to this one. Uh, they still haven't fixed out that if you're given premium, um, they still haven't fixed it where it actually stays with the amount of hours you play. So, like, say you unlock 24 hours worth of premium and you go to bed that night, you wake up the next morning... The time you spent off the game was deducted out of your premium that you own, which kind of sucks. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're starting to give us a lot more stuff. As, for instance, the T-54 was a very surprising little tank to get. I could see a tiger. Okay, sorry for the clicking, guys. I know I, I always sit with my controller actually pretty close to the inside of, well, outside of my bed. Yeah, I sit in my bed when I do gaming. How annoying is that? <laughs> e25 for the first kill on our team. Go on, son. But it was against a lightweight, so meh. You could have done better. Not really, uh... 
you know, blaming my teammate here. What have I got following me? I've got a Black Prince tailgating my butt. And I know we have a Tiger over here. Oh, they have a T28 HTC. Oh, they have a KV4 on this side. I'm going to light his ass up for our artillery. See if anybody can actually shoot him. Oh, somebody shot him. You beauty, whoever you were. I actually don't know who the heck you were, so I'm sorry. Let's see if I could see that KV4 again. There he is right there. Bang, shot right into him. You don't see me, do you? Oh, you don't, but he does. Black Prince, back it up, or at least keep him there. I'll keep shooting at him. Ah, KV4 is aiming at me. God damn it. I just shot the wall. What is with me? These tiger tanks are a pain in my butt, dude. Haha, -ha, you ricocheted where I hurt. God damn it. This tank's reload is what kills it. Go, Black Prince. Go, 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 go. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. You missed. You squinty-eyed SOB. You missed. You know, I'm going to roll in. I'm going to charge him because he's going to hide behind this rock. You immobilized me. Well, I'm going to kill you. Oh, where's that KV-4? I'm going to tell him that I'm immobilized right here. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Tracks back up. I do have the repair kit. I could have repaired that faster, but I think this KV-4 is going to be a big problem for me. I'm at half health. He is... Well, actually, I'm just a quarter of my health is missing. He, the Black Prince himself, is about half dead, half alive. Depending on what way you want to take it. Artillery, will you please open fire on him? I'm going to keep you tracked, you SOB. Come on. Somebody, please shoot at him. I actually am not going to keep him immobilized all this time. Let's see, uh, let's see, aim somewhere new. There's somewhere new. Aim at his track, aim at his track, aim at his track. He's backing off, son of a... Damn it, I got a ricochet. We're sitting ducks here, dude. I missed. So did he. Come on, Black Prince. I know you're weak, buddy, but so am I. Finally, the artillery kicks in. Hallelujah. Whoever's shooting at him, you're a beauty, you're a beauty, you're a beauty. Oh, and he gets the kill. Go me. Sorry, Black Prince. Wait, can you actually see him to shoot him? Nah, you can't see that T-28. There's no way you can see him. Ah, the enemy's freaking artillery is still getting kills. All right, need to go in and mobilize him. I'm hoping my team's doing well and holding strong. I mean, like they all went to the left side there. Oh, basically the bottom right. Hope you guys are staying strong, Black Prince. I need you to keep following me, just in case I get cornered. Cause this tank's reload, I think it's like seven seconds of shell, which. Actually isn't bad for a heavyweight, but it's really, really bad for me. Oh, hello. Kinky shell. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Bang, and let T28. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, he really didn't like that. Oh, he's not going to like this now. Got him again. Don't run. Don't run. Track them. Crap. Oh, crap. Please, you do not see me. You do not see me. You do not see me. Somebody shoot him. Thank you. I'm going to tell you that's a great shot. There you go. There you go, buddy. Now, I'm always a teamwork and player in this game, and actually, this game has been pretty surprisingly good for team teamwork. The uh, reason why I say this is because every damn time, every time I play this game recently... Uh, teamwork does not happen in this game. It's very, very annoying. Your team, rather, goes one side and abandons your ass, or goes the other side and completely doesn't do a thing, and he is so going to aim at us. 
There we go, I got my aim right. Sorry, Black Prince. I actually did wait to get that kill. Wink, wink. I actually had plenty of opportunity to shoot him, but I decided to wait and try and steal it, because I don't get kills in this tank. I never have, never will. I say never will, I actually got two kills there, you know, legitly all by myself. Hello, KV2. Boom, meet Marcel. Ah, Marcel. Marcel. Come on, you shoot him one more time there, buddy. And I'm gonna steal it. Wink, wink, I'm a hoe. There's their IS-6. I am not shooting at you. You know, I'm gonna go for the cap. I'm gonna go capture this base. Technically, right now, I should've got an achievement for uh, destroying four tanks in a British tank. It's called Her Majesty. Could've fought in the name better, guys. Oh, wait, no, we win. Although we destroyed them. Haha! <laughs> Good game, team. Good. Oh, crap, I couldn't get to do it. Alright, but there you go, guys. There's a quick game in our Caribbean. Or Caribbean, whatever the hell it's called. I really cannot get this tank's name right. Look at that, 2,000 XP. You know what, that's really, really helpful for me. All them badges. All them sexy, sexy badges. What I think I'll do is I'll think I'll make a wee mini-series uh, battling all my tanks. Note, and I mean note, when I go on the Chaffee, this little thing, uh, it's going to be a very, very quick battle. Yeah. But what I'll do is I'll decide to spectate a few teammates as well, because that actually really helps. Oh, yeah. Look at all that just coming in. Who's in the top five XP or damage? Oh, that wasn't XP. That was actually damage. Oh. Wait, so how much damage did I do in that last game? Let me see. Victory and Corella and the Carnivian. Yeah, all of them. I'd done 2,799 damage, which was the highest on my team. But the enemy's team, they had 2,890, and it was a T-28 prototype. They had a prototype. I never once encountered him. Hang on, did someone just get promoted as well? Oh. Oh, no. My Carnivian can actually map... Aha, that's what that was. It wasn't a crew promotion. It was my guy had actually learned track mechanic. Okay, okay, so, let me see, what would I want this thing to get now? Improves accuracy from a damaged gun, no. Deadeye is a really awesome thing. It's more effective with armor-piercing rounds, armor-piercing CR rounds, whatever that is, and heat shells. Hmm... I don't know what I would want. Maintenance reduces the chance of the engine catching fire or preventing the gas or oil to leak in the engine compartment. The perk is more effective when combined with automatic fire extinguishers. I see, I want stuff that will help this thing. Extends the signal range. Pain tolerance reduces the chance of critical hit to crew members. You know, I'll, I'll research that. Pain tolerance. No, I'll research that for her. Because at the minute, the KV-1, which is my bad boy from uh, back in the day, as you can see there on the side of her, or maybe not. Oh, crap. I had to roll out. Please, please cancel. Please cancel. Please cancel. Crap, I went into battle. But it had the one-year battle tag on it. But I'll let you guys get on here. I won't let you really watch this. I'll do another video on the KV-1 another day. But peace out. Catch you later.